What's up guys? Are you looking to build your next PC setup or maybe you're in the market for a new Windows laptop but can't figure out whether to get the i5 or the i3 model? And in 2023, there's simply too many Intel processors to name with so many variants that can even rival Kang the Conqueror, if you know what I mean. In fact, right now there are currently 14 different variants of their 13th gen Intel Core i9s alone. Let that sink in. So today we'll be going over a simple guide to Intel CPUs which will go over how each processor is named, their features, and what they're ideally for. So without wasting any more time, let's get to it. For the naming, if you're familiar with Intel's processors, especially the Intel Core series, you'll see something like the Intel Core i7-13700K, which some of you may be familiar with, but let's break it down bit by bit. Intel Core actually stands for the brand, which you'll generally see as either Intel Core, Pentium, or Celeron. i7, and likewise i3, i5, and i9 are seen in the Intel Core series of processors. And the basic thing to remember here is the higher the number after the i, the better performing chipset with more cores and threads. Then you have the 13, which indicates the generation of the CPU. And right now in 2023, we are at the 13th generation of the Intel Core processors. Then, we have the last three digits, 700. Or you could also see numbers like 500, 750, 900. Those are simply the SKU numbers. SKUs are generally assigned in the order in which processors in that generation are developed. And yes, those developed latest will have the extra features, but that's generally not a good way to compare processors. Then there's the letter suffix. In this case, we have K. They call it the SKU suffix, and that's generally a good indication indicator of the processor's capabilities. Here are the ones you should note. Among desktop Intel Core processors, T means Power Optimized Lifestyle, K means High Performance Unlocked, and X or XE means the Highest Performance Unlocked. In mobile chips or laptop processors, you usually see Y for Extremely Low Power Efficient Chips, U for power efficient chips, P for performance for mostly thin and light laptops, H for high performance, HK for high performance unlocked, and HX for highest performance, all SKUs unlocked. So now that we got the nomenclature unlocked, pun not intended, let's move on to the specific Intel processors you can get in 2023. They're mostly seen in budget laptops and mini PCs and are divided into two, silver and gold. Pentium silver processors aren't known to be the most powerful, but they are optimized for cost. They're great for video conferencing, fast wireless connectivity, and pretty good battery life. Meanwhile, Pentium Gold processors are a step up that are slightly more optimized for performance to deal with everyday computing, productivity work, and browsing web pages. With both Pentium Silver and Gold, they're named simply since generally the higher their SKU number, that means it's more recently released and has a higher benchmark. Next, we have the Intel Celeron chips which are actually pretty similar to the Pentium Silver line, and that's because Celeron is based on Pentium Silver. Overall, they have less cache memory, fewer cores, and reduced speeds, making them a more affordable option for those who mainly do web browsing-based activities and not processor-heavy tasks. Next, we have the most popular Intel processors there are and are most likely what you will be in the market for, and those are the Intel Core processors. To help simplify understanding each core processor, let's talk about two simple things. So clock speed is measured in gigahertz and simply refer to the frequency at which the processor's cores operate. This means that the higher the clock speed, the more instructions the processor can process per second and simply put, the faster the processor. Mostly you will see processor clock speeds range between 3.0 GHz to 3.6 GHz with turbo speeds to around 5.3 GHz. Then you also have the number of cores. In 2023, you will usually find quad-core processors or those having four cores. But the highest-end Intel core processors can even feature up to a whopping 
24 cores. Like clock speeds, the more cores you have, the more powerful and faster the processor is. There's also the topic of both performance and efficiency cores, or simply P and E cores. You'll typically see something like an Intel Core i5-13450HZ with 10 total cores, but with 6 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. Performance cores are designed for high-speed processing of complex and intensive tasks such as video editing or playing demanding video games. These cores have a higher clock speed and can handle more instructions per clock cycle and likewise they're more energy hungry. Efficiency cores on the other hand are designed to use less power while still providing pretty sufficient performance for everyday tasks like web browsing, email, and social media. These cores have a lower clock speed and are optimized for power efficiency, allowing devices to conserve battery life and operate for longer periods of time. Modern processors combine balance performance and efficiency cores to deliver high performance computing and energy efficiency, which is key in most mobile devices today. In 2023, Intel is in their 13th generation of Intel Core processors. These include all i3, i5, i7, and i9 processors. The i3 processors are Intel's entry-level option designed for basic computing tasks like web browsing, email, and office productivity. Core i3s typically have 4 cores with max clock speeds of around 4.5 GHz. These processors also have integrated graphics which can be suitable for casual gaming or video streaming. Core i3 processors are generally the most affordable option, making them a good choice for budget-conscious users. Next, we have the Core i5 family of processors, which is designed for users who need a bit more performance than the Core i3 processors can offer. Core i5 processors typically have 6 or 8 cores on laptops, but can feature 12 or even 14 on desktop chips with clock speeds of up to 5.1 GHz. These processors also have integrated graphics, but they're generally more powerful than the graphics in Core i3s, making them a better choice for gaming or other graphically intensive tasks. Core i5s are a good choice for users who need a balance of performance and affordability. Then we have the Core i7 processors, which are generally designed for users who need even more performance than the i5s. Core i7s typically have 6 to 8 cores with clock speeds of up to 5.4 GHz. These processors also have more advanced features like hyperthreading, which allows each core to handle two threads simultaneously, effectively doubling the number of processing threads available. Core i7 processors are a good choice for users who need high performance computing for tasks like video editing or 3D modeling. And finally, we have the top of the range i9 processors, which can pack as few as 14 cores or as much as 24 cores. They can also reach a max thermal frequency of up to 6 GHz for seamless 4K HD video and high-end gameplay. The Core i9 family of processors is Intel's highest-end option, which is designed for users who need the most performance possible. Core i9 processors typically have 10 to 18 cores, with clock speeds ranging from 2.9 GHz to 5.3 GHz. These processors also have advanced features like hyper-threading and support for Intel's Turbo Boost Max technology, which can automatically boost clock speeds on the most demanding tasks. Core i9 processors are also the most expensive option, but they do offer unparalleled performance for tasks like gaming, video editing, or even scientific simulations. And then we have a special category of Intel processors called the Intel Xeon line. They feature built-in accelerators and advanced security technologies for demanding workloads such as for the purpose of servers, workstations, rather than for personal computing. Xeon processors are generally more expensive than their core counterparts but they do offer high-performance computing for demanding tasks like scientific simulations, artificial intelligence, and data analytics. Before we wrap up, 
here are some other things that we want you to keep in mind. First, let's talk about overclocking. Overclocking is the process of increasing a processor's clock speed beyond its rated speed in order to achieve better performance. Intel processors are generally capable of overclocking to some extent, but this can void warranties and requires careful monitoring of temperatures and voltage. Then we have integrated graphics. As we mentioned earlier, Many Intel processors actually come with integrated graphics which can be suitable for casual gaming or other graphically intensive tasks. However, for more demanding gaming or content creation, a dedicated graphics card is generally recommended. And that's another topic for another day. For the most part though, you'll usually see either Intel UHD graphics or Intel Iris Xe graphics, both of which probably won't meet any dedicated GPU out there. But just note that those featuring Intel Iris Xe graphics are significantly more powerful than UHD graphics and can generally do some light gaming and video editing since it has things like hardware acceleration and support for a wider range of display resolutions and refresh rates. Then we have socket compatibility. When choosing an Intel processor, it's important to make sure that it is compatible with your motherboard's socket. In 2023, Intel's mainstream desktop processors generally use the LGA1700 socket, but it is best to check specifically what socket your processor uses since the higher-end i9s may have different sockets to more budget-friendly i3s and i5s. So, that wraps up our guide on Intel CPUs this 2023. We truly hope this helps you in selecting your next desktop processor for your PC build or for your laptop. If it did, be sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear which you think is the best Intel processor overall, so be sure to leave a comment down below. Follow for more tech content at yugatech.com and follow our socials too on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. This has been Luis of Yugatech. Happy shopping.